Aloha. Good day, good day. I invite you to join me for some gentle movement, awakening of the body, awakening the spine, moving our breath, some meditation. We'll see where this goes. We got a couple things I'd like to share. But first, let's close our eyes. Put a slight smile on your face. Observe your breath. Observe where you're beginning. Is your breath shallow? Breathing deep. You're breathing quickly or slow. Just observing where you're at. Tuning into your body. And put your hand on your heart and your belly. Observe the rising and fall of your belly. I invite you to send a little gratitude to your heart. And as we take our first deep breath, see that breath flowing from your root to your crown, from your crown to your root. Breathe all the way from the tip of your toes, the tip of your fingers. Inspire your entire body with the breath, the breath of life. Just take a few of these breaths make sound. Ah, just let it go. As you exhale, see the energy dripping out of your toes. Breathing in from the earth. Sucking up the energy from your root. Drawing it up to the crown. Letting it shine out, expand into the heavens, connecting you to the earth and sky, every breath is a gift, precious gift, so enjoy your breath. Ah, shake it out a little bit. Shake your hands, exhaling. <sighs> Bounce your shoulders, you can suck them up to your ear, drop them down, inhale, drop, inhale, drop, inhale, drop. Just loosen your body up. Let's do some body tapping this morning. So we're gonna start. We'll start with the outside of our hand. With a light fist can go up your arm, outside and inside. Tap your shoulder to your chest, and your ribs, gentle on your belly. Whole chest, both hands. Let's tap down one side, your left arm. Right, how do you begin? Outside. Shoulders. I like to tap my head. Breathe in so you're tapping. Tap your face lightly. Mm, your beautiful smiling face. Tap our legs. Just 
still using like this half close fist. It's a half side. You're welcome to stand up and do all this standing. If you can, reach around to your low back. in your body, relax your face, relax your jaw, ah, make some more audible exhales using sound and breath to release energy, ah, like waking up like a lion in the morning, ah, Good to release any residual energy from your sleep. Any stored anger, anxiety, or tension, wiggle it all out. And all these things you can keep doing more and more. Tap your body more if you need it. Breathe more if you need it. This is for you. And you're listening to your body. These are just some ideas and cues, another way to experience your morning or your afternoon. Another way to experience yourself, ah, your loving self. Well, there's a spinal warm up we're gonna do called the Sufi grind. And what we're doing, start small, you'll get bigger. And we're gonna start actually at our belly, our Dante end point, which is right below your navel. So, imagine you're making circles with your belly button. So your, your belly is going forward, and you exhale, and your belly is going back. And your belly is going forward, and your belly is going back. So you're making a curve, and then put it out, and a curve, put it out as you spiral. We're getting our spine warmed up here. So, little circles. Feel free to put your hand on your lower belly if you'd like to do it. So you feel your back kind of arch backwards and then come forward. It's like the way a cat arches its back, stretches your, doing it with your lower back. And breathing, exhaling backwards, inhaling forward, exhaling backwards. Inhaling forwards, and just little wiggles with the lowest part of your spine. Maybe it doesn't move a lot, just with your mind's eye, see those vertebrae stirring up the energies of life within you. When you're ready, you can slow it down, and we'll spiral and back the other way. Move those little vertebrae that you've never thought of moving. Be grateful for those bones, for your spine, your shishuma, a column of light, your ida and pingala. There's two other energy channels that spiral around your spinal cord. These are your highways of energy. Spiraling, it's gonna wake up your spine. Mm. Okay, come to center. Take a breath. Mm. Maybe you can feel the spiral that's naturally flowing up your body all the time. The energy is always spiraling up and down. Now let's take it up to our heart. So we're meeting with our heart, keeping our chin level to the ground, and then holding your knees. You're gonna bring your heart forward, leading with your heart, so your head isn't tipping over. You're leading with your heart, and your C in your back. See how it comes back like this, your heart's back, and then heart forward, and then heart back, and heart forward, keeping your chin level. Start 
with your circles with your heart lead with your heart breathing in gratitude into your heart so where our mind is at when we're doing these movement practices is key a yogi is someone who's seeking union with source with creator in everything they do so for maximum benefit to produce the the chemical reaction in our body that creates wellness when you focus on source when you focus on god when you focus on the creator keep spiraling your body is receiving those cues and, and tapping into that it's like plugging into an outlet and getting charged up so when you tune your mind tune your radio station change your channel to the the god channel the source channel then your body's recharging rapidly so as you spiral your heart around focus your attention can on on creation on life on creator on god reaching out to source to be nourished by the light and slow down and be ready to spin your heart the other way you're getting more warmed up and you can do a little deeper circles reaching your heart way forward and lightly holding on to your knees reaching way back making a big c shape in your back like it's almost like a cat cow right? and then riding that out i can feel the tension in my right hip and my lower ribs more than my left observing the difference between each side allowing your belly to draw in it wants to draw in relax in your shoulders your jaw your face keep spiraling breathing inhale as you come forward exhale as you go back find this movement and breath synchronicity have them line up mm. and you come to a stop just feel that spiral I'm created my body doesn't even want to sit still it just wants to keep waving like a tree in the wind that's okay and this time we're just going to basically be doing seated cat cows so bringing your heart forward bringing it back keeping your chin level head level inhale exhale all that air inhale exhale inhale forward exhale back mm -hmm. See the spinal juices working their way up from your tailbone all the way up to the tip of your head. And you're massaging that spinal fluid up and down. You're breathing it in, drawing it up, releasing. Breathing it in, drawing it up, releasing. Nice. We're moving that joy juices that we have. Or maybe some other emotions are coming up. Whatever emotion you're feeling is the emotion you're feeling, and that's okay. Just keep breathing, focusing on source. A lot of practices that have you focus on your third eye while you're doing it, tapping into that plug-in that goes into your spine, back to where we came from, back into the light. It's good to focus on that light. Brings happiness. All right. Now let's do some twists. Warm our body up with a couple of twists, maybe. <clears throat> See, what we want is our elbows, our triceps to be level with the ground. So 
placing your fingertips on the front and your thumbs on the back. And if you're strong, you know, hold your arms up like this. The key is to not let them sag down. So I exhale all the air out of my body. And then let it draw in my belly. And we inhale left. Exhale right. Just turn your head. Just be gentle. Imagine turning at your trunk. You're turning at your lower, lowest point. So I'm focusing my energy on my belly button. Inhale. Exhale to the right. Nice, powerful. Exhale. The body will naturally inhale. And we'll just get out that stale air. In Kundalini, you think the word sat nam. Inhale, sat. Exhale, nam. Inhale, sat. Exhale, nam. See so in your mind, focus on your third eye. Sat, nam. Sat, nam. Essentially, you're saying, my name, my name is truth. God is truth. My name is truth. And I am, and God is truth. We're both truth, and we're one with source. See that breath from the tip of your tailbone to the crown of your head, washing away. Any blockages, any stagnant energy in your spine. Relax your jaw, smile. Big deep breath in, hold it as long as you can, retain your breath, maybe suck in a little more air. get out, exhale all the air out, but then if I make a sound like a tire is leaking, I can get more out even, squeeze it all out, let's start out with new fresh air in our entire lungs, let's see what it says about proper breathing here. Most people use only a fraction of their breath capacity. Proper breathing focuses on nasal breathing techniques to unlock and energy and vitality. Breathing exercises concentrate on exhalation rather than inhalation to cleanse the lungs of stale air and to eliminate toxins from the body. Um, yeah, let's start with a little description of yoga too. So, these people. This is a fun little book. 101 Essential Yoga Tips. Pocket size. What is yoga? What is yoga to you? Is it tight pants and a bunch of exercises? Is it a place where you find fellowship? Is yoga foreign to you? Is it intimidating? Have you found joy of yoga? Um, the word yoga means union. Yoga is a form of exercise based on belief that the body and breath are intimately connected with the mind. By controlling the breath and holding the body in steady poses, your asanas, yoga creates harmony. Yoga practice consists of five key elements, 
proper breathing, proper exercise, proper relaxation, proper diet, and positive thinking. The exercises or asanas are designed to ease tense muscles, to tone up the internal organs, and to improve flexibility of the body's joints and ligaments. It encourages good circulation, and builds strong muscles, it balances vital bodily functions, helps you have correct posture, enhances your breathing capability and focuses the mind. And know your body's limit. You know, if you have health problems, check with the doctor. Um, don't push yourself more than you need to. So, yeah, before you begin, just important to recognize your capabilities and never force your body into a posture or try to go beyond your limit. Remember, yoga is not a competitive sport. Progress may be slow, but with time, your body will become flexible. Ease yourself gently into each position, and when you're holding a pose, check the body to see if you can feel tension building up anywhere. If you do, consciously try to relax the tension using your breathing. Let's do a breath technique. So as we sit down, place your hands on your lower rib cage, maybe one on your abdomen, abdomen, <laughs> breathe in, try and feel the lowest part of your lungs, then the middle, then the upper, and expand. It's almost like a three-part breath, it will become fluid over time, but Breathe into that lowest part and feel it come to your middle belly and feel your ribs expand. <sighs> Breathe into your lower belly, mid belly, ribs. <sighs> Exhale all that air out. <sighs> Inhale to the lower belly. Middle, ribs. Ah. Inhale, belly. Middle belly. Ribs. Ah. One more, smooth it out. Just feel your entire vessel. Observe your body. I'm going to start with just some single nose breaths. So, if you hold your hand, your right hand in front of your face, drop your pointer finger and your middle finger. And using your thumb and your ring finger, you're going to open and close your nostrils. So, your right nostril with your right thumb, your left nostril with your ring finger. So we're going to begin with exhaling all the air out of our body, and we're going to exhale out of our left nostril. And then inhale through the left, and then retain. Plug your nose, and we're going to hold for 10 seconds. Exhale out of your right nostril. Inhale through the right. Plug your nostril. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. it and retain. Uh, 
out of the right nostril, you'll exhale. Then inhale through the right. Hold it. Keep your jaw relaxed, keep a slight smile. Through our left nostril, we're gonna exhale. And we're gonna inhale through the left. And retain, keep that smile on your face. Thinking about creation, thinking about God, focusing on the light, focusing on gratitude and love. We're gonna exhale out of the right nostril. All the air, inhale through the right, and retain. Exhale out of the left nostril, blow it all out, inhale through the left, and retain. Out of the right, exhale. Inhale through the right. Retain. And exhale all the way out of your left. Get it all out. Place your hands down and observe your body. Observe your breath. shaking. It's always more shaking. I recommend doing like a 15 minute shake if you can. And your body will get tired and cramp up. But, but put on some favorite music and just shake your body and shake and shake and shake until you, until you cry and lay on the floor and just keep shaking. Animals, when they get injured, they shake. If they have trauma, they shake and shake and shake. They shake all the trauma out of their body in that moment. And then they recover and move forward. So be like your inner animal. Just shake it all out. Shake away the trauma. Shake away tension. Shake away stress. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle when you get a chance. Just have yourself a little shake party. Don't be embarrassed. Just shake. Shake it all. Okay. Let's do some alternate nostril breathing now that we've warmed up a little bit with our nostril thing. So same thing, put your hand in front of you, drop your ring finger and pointer finger, your pointer finger and middle finger, and use your ring finger and thumb to open and close your nostrils. Another option though is you can put your po pointer and middle finger on your third eye and keep that energy circuit using your thumb to open and close your right and your ring finger to open and close your left, same thing. So with this alternate nostril breathing, we're um, gonna calm our mind, it'll create some lucidity for our mind. It's very balancing. And with this one, we inhale for four, we'll hold for eight, or hold for 16, exhale for eight. So here we go. We're gonna exhale all the air out of our body. Plug your right nostril with your thumb. Inhale through your left nostril for a deep four seconds. And then block your nostril and we retain. And I'll count it out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So open your right nostril and exhale for eight seconds. And then inhale through the right for four. And plug your nostril and retain. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Open your left nostril and exhale for eight. Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Through the left, inhale. And retain. Open your right nostril and exhale for eight seconds. And then through the right, inhale. Plug it and retain. Seven, six, five, four. Open the left and exhale for eight seconds. And then inhale through the left for four. Plug your left nostril and retain. Open your right nostril, exhale for eight. Inhale through the right for four. Plug your right nostril and retain. Open your left nostril, exhale for eight. Inhale through the left for four. And retain. Exhale out of the right for eight. Inhale through the right for four. And retain. Open the left nostril and exhale all the air out. Place your hands down and just observe your sensation. Keep the smile, keep your jaw relaxed. Here's a quote from Thich Nhat Hanh, a Zen master. Your mindful breath and your smile will bring happiness to you and those around you. Even if you spend a lot of money on gifts for everyone, nothing you could buy them can give as much true happiness as your gift of awareness, breathing, and smiling. And these precious gifts cost nothing. Breathe, smile, and relax. 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 Such a simple natural practice. Breathe, smile, and relax. Let go. Try doing it five times, 10, 20. Do it whenever you have a few seconds. Do it while you're walking to the water cooler or riding an elevator. Do it while you're standing in a crowd subway or walking home from work. Do it while you're stopped at the red light or waiting for the laundry to finish the last few minutes of the dry cycle. Instead of reading tabloid headings while you're on a supermarket line, breathe, smile, and relax and let go. This natural meditation can help us in countless ways. It is a quick technique to remind us how to relax. Be mindful, be authentic, be joyful, be present, and connect to others. 
A Zen story I've always loved about is Ho Chai, a Chinese Zen master who many call the Happy Buddha. We are all little statues of Hoti. He is typically depicted as a plump, smiling guy carrying a large sack over his shoulder. In many ways, he can be described as Asia's Santa Claus. During his lifetime, Hote would walk through the streets carrying a huge sack of candy, fruit, and other goodies. Children would run up to him and he would plop down his bag, reach in, and hand out his gifts to anyone who asked. Although many considered Hote a Zen master, he had no inclination to teach formally. Paul Reps tells the following story about Hote and his wonderful collection of Zen stories. Zen flesh. Zen bones. Whenever he met a Zen devotee, he would extend his hand and say, Give me one penny. And if anyone asked him to return to a temple to teach others, again he would reply, Give me one penny. Once as he was about to play work, another Zen master happened along and inquired, What is the significance of Zen? Hotai immediately plopped his sack down on the ground in a silent answer. Then asked the other, what is the actualization of Zen? At once, happy Chinese man swung his sack over his shoulder and continued on his way. Being happy and cheerful is a wonderful gift that we can give ourselves, as well as those we meet. When I was first in India, one of the things that most impressed me about my spiritual teachers was how happy they looked. Many of them had experienced severe hardships, were refugees, or had serious illnesses, and yet they smiled laughed, and had a keen sense of fun all the time. Even today, when I look at the smile on the face of someone like the Dalai Lama, I automatically want to smile back. Here's a meditation to help you smile like a Buddha. The Buddha is one that is enlightened, so an enlightened state of mind is the word Buddha. So sit down and relax. Breathe and smile. Be happy, be peaceful. Let's practice the smiling yoga. Smile, smile even more. Smile as if you were enlightened. Happy, blissful, delighted. A happy camper on the shore of Nirvana's shining sea. Smile, grin. Be silly. Maybe you gotta loosen your lips up. Smile so big that you can't see. All right. And smile. Buddhas have more fun. So try to look as enlightened as you can. Maybe smile and wiggle your body. Why pretend to be unhappy, harried, or miserable? Since we all pretend anyway, why not pretend to be happy for a change? See how that feels. Try to look and act as if you're totally enlightened. What would that look like? Free, joyful, light and buoyant, glorious, radiant, peaceful, perfectly content and fulfilled, fully evolved, Awaken Buddha. Be Buddha. You can do it. Relax your jaw. Relax your face. And smile. Be Buddha. Yuda. Become Buddhaful. Smile widely. Turn your head upwards. Elevate your spirit. Smile at the heavens. Smile wildly. Let the mind unfurl and the heart soar. Press your shining face up against the heavens. Breathe in that smile. Breathe that smile in to anywhere in your body. Open to blessings, love, acceptance, and forgiveness. Look as enlightened as you possibly can. Smile happily. Keep smiling. Why not be happy? Allow joy to happen. Don't close yourself up. Be there now.
Be happy. Be peaceful. Be whole. Complete. Luminous. Be at home and at ease before your own hearth. An organic, homegrown American home Buddha is his or her own. Natural Buddha feel. Smile. Home Buddha. Enjoy yourself. Be yourself, your true self. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Be happy. Be beautiful. Be happy. Be beautiful. You are. Now we have this smile that we're breathing in. I invite you to breathe that smile into any aches or pains you have in your body. I imagine my smile with little flower of life on every tooth, little sacred geometry patterns, and I can see my smile flying with wings into my, my body where it hurts. You can breathe your smile into your bone marrow. Breathe your smile into your belly. Breathe your smile into your heart. Breathe your smile into your tears. If there's someone or something you're concerned about, you can breathe your smile into them. I read a book of the Tao, and the ancient Tao techniques is also the smile breath. The smile breath is a powerful breath. So, Sometimes you fake it till you make it. So you put the smile on your face and your brain and body start to produce a chain reaction of chemicals and energies flowing. And that smile will support you in your wellness. Enjoy your smile. When you see someone that's down, just breathe into your smile and send that smile astrally across the planes to them and support them with your smile breath. While you're in this state of smile breathing, I'll play a little bit of didgeridoo for a minute as you meditate with your smile. Thank you. 
Ah. Alright. I like to share a song. 